Hey, we're going to take a look at a very easy arrangement of traditional holiday tune, I Saw Three Ships, done in dadgad tuning, kind of inspired, actually, I really recommend picking up my friend Doug Young's book, A Dadgad Christmas. It's got um, a bunch of really simple arrangements of tunes like this that are kind of designed for you to then go off and improvise with or make your own, and then also a few very uh, detailed and elaborate arrangements. So it's got a wide range of stuff. Uh, and great, great treatments of Christmas songs done in Dad Yet. And what I want to talk about in this lesson, though, is the feel of six eight. We're going to talk about six eight time, which is what, uh, which is what the song is in, and really just the idea of keeping the bass going and playing the melody the way it goes. In other words, this is not a really elaborate thing. All you have to be able to do is this and this. Anyway, is to pick out the melody and, and pick out bass notes and put them together. So this is going to be a pretty short lesson on that, but I do want to talk about 6-8 time. Then we'll talk about adding in, combining the bass and the melody. We'll talk about adding in some harmony, uh, maybe playing the melody an octave lower down in there and, keep, and what to do with the bass. And then a little bit of improvising. making up your own little stuff that fits in with it. So, coming up, short lesson on I Saw Three Ships. A really important thing to learn from this song, especially if you're, if you're a little shaky on this, is the feel of playing in 6-8 time. Now, when we play in 4-4 four, four time, we've got four beats per measure, and each of those beats is a quarter note. So that's what the bottom four is telling us, we're counting quarter notes. The top four is telling us there are four in a measure, one, two, three, four. And if we split those into eighth notes, we would count them one and two and three and four and. Well, we could have three four time, where we're just counting to three. One and two and three and. One and two and three and. Typical waltz time, or one of the, probably the second most common time signature out there, three four time. Now in three four time, if I played just quarter notes, we'd feel one, two, three. One, two, Three. If I split that up into eighth notes, we'd have two eighth notes per beat. One and two and three and. One and two and three and. If I were to count all the eighth notes rather than counting the quarter notes, I would count to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we could have six eighth notes in three, four time. Got that? You're with me so far. If we call the time signature six eight, we could have six eighth notes. It could seem just like 3-4. It doesn't. It, it, it's different. It means a different thing. It means we have six eighth notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But we don't, we don't group them into quarter notes. One and two and three and. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. We group them in threes rather than twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we really feel a bigger beat or a pulse every three-eighth notes, which means there are only two pulses or beats in this measure. So in 6-8 time, we're really playing dotted quarter notes on two beats that we feel in the measure. And we would subdivide this into da 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 So a little exercise for your right hand to get the feel of this is slow it down a little and start playing three melody notes per every bass note. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the way I'm doing that with my right hand is I'm, I'm leading with my ring finger. I'm going ring, middle, index for each set of three. That means the ring is the one that is pinched. Most songs in 6-8 time, or well, I saw three ships at least, but many songs in 6-8 three, three, uh, time, don't play a steady flow of eighths, constant groups of threes, you hear, a re really, you hear this a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, which is alternating a quarter note with an eighth. So 
of the three subdivide sub sub beats, we're really only playing on the first and third one of each longer dotted quarter note. So get that feel in your head. Just work on your right hand first, doing all three eighths and feeling those beats there. Then get rid of the middle one. We're able to put those two parts together and, and in your head or on paper, if you, if you want to look at it, that's fine. Um, you get that melody happening. And then keep the bass alternating on the D's for three measures. And then have an A for the last measure. Well, the last thing I just kind of hinted at was keeping the same chord progression going. Three measures of D, and then a measure of A, and then three measures of D. And then just one beat of A. And... Find the notes on the first string that are in a D major scale. And then just start making up those for... Uh, mixing them up with a rhythm very similar to what was going on. The second time I just hung on the D's for a long time. I just kept kept this going back and forth and fooled around with notes out of a D scale.